Hi there, my name's Sandy, I'm from Spiral Crafts and Workshops and today's video is about the basic tools you need to do chicken wire art. So, I've got more videos coming up, if you'd like to see those and get notified then click on subscribe and the bell next to it. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up and if there's any tutorials you'd like to see, leave us a comment underneath and we'll get onto those. Now let's get going, what do you need? You're not going to like the first one much, safety goggles, you need to protect yourself when you're doing chicken wire art. The other end of the wire, normally when you're working on this end of the sculpture, you've got the other end of the wire and it smacks up into your face quite often if you're not too careful. It has happened to me. I was very grateful I was wearing goggles. I have to wear these over the top of my, my glasses. Um, and I was very grateful for wearing them because, uh, because they did protect me when I, was, when I was making the sculptures. Secondly, also in the, the safety department, a pair of gloves. These are leather palms and very well used as you can see. Um, personally, next time I buy some, I'm going to buy some leather backs as well because I have had quite a lot of scratches on the back of my hand because these are fabric and chicken wire is vicious and it will go through and draw blood if you're not too careful. comes with the territory I'm afraid. So uh, protect yourself with, with leather palms and you will get on a great and not have too many cuts and, and scratches all over your hands and anywhere else actually because it, it, will, it will catch other places as well if you're not careful, your arms and your legs if you're, when you're just generally working. So in terms of tools, uh, a set of pliers, almost dropped them, a set of pliers is, uh, is absolutely paramount. These are flat nose pliers, you can use chain nose pliers you'll find you'll, you'll use those a lot uh, while you're doing your chicken wire art and you'll need a pair, at least one pair. And for cutting your chicken wire you need a pair of snips. So these are called tin snips in the UK, you're not quite sure what they'd be called elsewhere. Um, but these are um, a really nice large set of uh, cutties, cutters for cutting through the wire. You can use your normal side cutters that you use with, with your copper wire and your aluminium wire but it does take a long time because you have to do each individual hole uh, and each individual wire whereas with these if you, if you get them at the right angle you can cut a lot faster through the chicken wire. So those are your tin snips, you'll need those. And of course finally uh, for your final basic uh, piece of equipment that you need if you're doing chicken wire art is your chicken wire. So you, can, you don't have to buy in bulk like I do, I tend to buy it by large rolls. Um, this, oh there you go, is, uh, is 31mm hole um, chicken wire and galvanised uh, steel. So that's your, your, your basic sculpture material really, uh, like your clay would be for, for clay sculpture, this is what you're going to need. You can buy it in smaller rolls than this, that's fine. It does work out a little bit more expensive, but if you don't know whether you're going to be using a whole roll, which I know I will be, um, then you can buy a smaller amount so that you don't have to invest as much. And that, put that over there, that is it really. That's, that's all you need to be able to, to get going on your chicken wire sculpture. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up. If you want to see any more videos coming up then subscribe down below and hit the notifications button and leave us a comment if you've got any tutorials that you would like to see. So happy chicken wire sculpting, I hope you love it. 